Barry the pilot intends to fly with a friend in a helicopter to a conference site located countryside for a presentation he will give on safety. This involves landing on the site's uncertified helipad. Harry asks his instructor how he can improve his pre-flight planning and preparation for this flight so that he doesn't miss anything. His instructor encourages Harry to adopt a threat and error management strategy to cover weather, NOTAM, fuel required, weight and balance and helicopter performance. The instructor also reminds Ari to verify the site elevation and air temperature during the recce to assess and check that there is sufficient power to land and take off. Should something unexpected happen, the instructor emphasizes the importance of having an alternate airfield to land. Confident in his flight preparation and mindful of his instructor's advice, Ari and his friend depart for the landing site. The weather is good and Ari and his friend are enjoying their flight. But Ari pays close attention to the navigation as the destination may be difficult to pinpoint. As they approach the landing site, Ari confirms that it's the correct location and performs a power check to determine the type of approach he can make before orbiting the landing site to carry out recce's. During the high-level recce, Ari identifies the main obstacles surrounding the landing site, confirms the wind direction, and plans a path suitable for approach and takeoff. Next, Ari performs a low-level recce of the site to spot anything that may have been missed in his high-level recce, especially hard-to-see hazards like concealed power lines and loose items on the ground that might be disturbed by the helicopter downwash. He pays particular attention to the surface identifying any sloping ground. With final confirmation of the wind direction, taking account of the sun position and noise abatement consideration, and a recap of the threats and possible errors identified, Ari completes his pre-landing checks and lines up the helicopter for the type of approach he has chosen. He knows that if his approach becomes unstable or something unexpected happens, he will make a go-around. During the approach, Ari spots somebody walking across the landing site. Ari performs a go-round and makes a new approach in accordance with his earlier decision to do so if anything unexpected happens. Ari and his friend land safely on the uncertified helipad and shut down. They secure the helicopter, ensuring that unauthorized people or animals won't be able to cause any damage to the helicopter before setting off for the conference on foot. Landing on an uncertified helipad requires thorough flight preparation and suitable recce and approach and landing procedures. And don't be afraid to seek advice from other pilots or instructors. Their knowledge can be invaluable. In case something goes wrong, don't hesitate to go around and make a new approach or divert to an alternate airfield or landing site.